I'm going to explain you how to add a user location on a given map view and also how to perform a zooming operation externally. So for that I'm going to drag a map view kit. I have already done that for you to save time. You can get a map kit view from your object library, drag it and place it on your view controller. Then I have added a zoom button so that once you click on the zoom button, the map will be zoomed in. In order to display a user location, you have to check in the user location checkbox which is available in the attribute inspector on your right hand side. Now I am going to create IB outlet for my map view which will be my view controller and I am going to provide an IB outlet with the name map view. As I am going to perform the zoom operation on my map view, I am going to create um, IB action for zooming for performing the zooming operation. So before running this application we need to specify to the compiler that we are going to use the map location. For that reason we are going to create a variable for our CL location manager. Always make sure that whenever you are working on a map kit you have to import a map kit framework. It is not implicitly added for you. You have to explicitly import a map kit. Now I have created an instance of my location manager. Once this location is created with iOS 8.0, it is mandatory to include this various information like request when in use authorization because they have set some privacy policy for using the various features inside your application like the map kit the camera, the photo gallery. So for each and everything, you have to specify those permissions, one in your info p list and second explicitly in your view did load. So I have specified over here that I have created an instance of my CL location manager. Once that is done, I have provided, I have called this method that is request when in use authorization. In case if you are moving your device from one location to another and you want to get the update, for that you can add start update location. This method will provide, you have to write a delegate for this method which will provide you the existing location of the user. And you can, you can set the desired accuracy that is required. So before running this application, you have to include these three privacy policies in your application. They are privacy, location, usage description, privacy, location, when in use description and location always. For adding any new privacy value, you have to click a plus button over here and a drop, out, drop down will come up. You have to select the privacy policy that you want to add and provide some description for that so that it gets added to your application. Now when you run your application, you will be able to see the user location on your map kit. So as you can see now on my user on my map kit my user location is being displayed with a blue circle. When I click on the zoom button nothing happens. So I want to add a functionality to my zoom button which means I want to zoom in and see the nearby area. So for that reason, I am going to provide a view region to my application. So I am going to create a view region by calling a method mk coordinate region with distance. I want to specify the center coordinate. So in this case, my center coordinate will be my user location. So I am going to add my user location and I am going to provide the coordinate of my user location. I want it in a span of 15 kilometers. You can specify, you can increase or you can decrease your span. So depending upon your span, you will be able to work with your application. Now just one more thing is remaining that I am going to specify, I am going to set my region with the region which I have created over here and I will be seeing it in an animated format. So now when you run your application and when you click on the zoom it button, you will be able to zoom in to your user location 
in a area or in a span of 15 kilometers in latitude as well as 15 kilometers in longitude so as you can see in our application right now we are able to see a user location and when we click on zoom in button it will take us in a 15 kilometer range so this is how you can perform your zoom operation and you can add a user location to your map kit so in my next tutorial i am going to show you how to add annotations on the map view thank you for watching my videos if you like my videos please provide me the comments and for more videos you can visit us at httptacticsolutions.com/mobile this is our website where you can find more interactive videos and uh, various trainings available thank you